Hey, y'all. Let's find out the person that you are thinking of. How does they? How do they feel about you? The person that's been on your mind lately. The person that you've been thinking about. Let's see how they feel about you. afraid to contact you they can't let you get too close to them right now they can't let you get that close to them they're afraid to contact you so many things remind me of you oh well dang the whole thing fell out Give me one more card. I regret lying to you. So they scared to reach out to you because they know they messed up. They know they messed up big time. They're being reminded about it every day. See, that's their karma. Their karma is that they have to constantly be reminded of you. Everywhere they go, they try to find you and other people. They can't find you and other people. And they're being constantly reminded of you. And now they're sitting up here having regrets, regretting that they lied to you. They're just over here wishing that things could be different. Mm. They're sitting over here just wishing that things could be different. See what else yeah this person is super unawakened they are lost okay they don't really they're they're very uh standard okay with this unawakened card they they don't have was they're not really into knowing themselves going deeper digging deeper shadow work they're not into that so you have to be extremely patient when it comes to this person you gotta have a lot of patience because this person isn't awakened at all okay they fear they actually fear the spiritual world or going deep they actually have a fear of that all they care about is materials all they really know is materials they want a fresh start with you, though. Because ever since y'all been apart, all they've been dealing with is grief. And all they've been hearing is the answer. All they've been getting is no, 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 no. Nothing's been going in their favor. They've been going, going and going and going and not getting anywhere. Running and running and running and not getting anywhere. They feel like you're their twin flame, though. Like, they feel, this is your twin flame. I don't think that they know about this. We got barrier. So, they don't know what a twin flame is. I clearly see that they don't know what this journey is all about. They're very unawakened, okay? And they have this barrier up. They don't want to know about it. I feel like this person is very closed-minded. They don't want to know about any of that. Anything spiritual, they, they have a barrier up against it. They're against it. Anything about opening up their third eye, they're against it. They abandoned you. And they deceived you. So I'm getting like they, they started you down the wrong path. And they know they did. They know they did. We got action and shadow work. And it looks like you took a different direction. It looks like you were leaning more towards doing the work on yourself. And this person abandoned you in the time that you needed them. Yeah, we got release. And you went through a metamorphosis. Okay, while this person 
uh, used other ways to cope because we got numbing. So they numb themselves. But all of this says that they abandoned you in your darkest time when you was going through the, the toughest time of your life. This person abandoned you. And then they went off and snuck off and did whatever they wanted to do with other people. You definitely went through some type of metamorphosis. You did some shadow work. You you went deep. You dug deep. And I feel like you had to go through, a, through some healing. Some of y'all had to actually go to counseling. Like, yeah, y'all had to go through a lot. And this person was out doing what they wanted to do. Now they're in fear. You got fear and vibrations. Now they are, like I said, they are afraid of reaching out to you. They are afraid of reaching out to you. They are. They don't know what to say to you. And they're afraid of spirituality, point blank, and the period. They feel like they have free will. They feel like everyone has free will and they can do as they please. So maybe they fear that you have too much knowledge. You know too much. You surpass them. But this person is in grief, okay? Because they want you to have an understanding. They want you to understand where they're coming from. You got divine masculine and understanding. I feel like... You were there for them when they were going through some type of grief. But they was not there for you. They they turned their backs on you. They turned their back on you. And they were sitting here regretting it. But they are afraid to come towards you. Tell me why fear is here. Tell me more about fear. Some of y'all have blocked this person. Or this person has blocked you. Yeah, I see y'all did some healing. They want to heal this connection, though. But they fear that you have, you know yourself right now. Because in the past, I feel like you will fall for their little game, okay? In the past, you will fall for their game. But now, you know too much. You've expanded. You've grown. You vibrated to a higher frequency than them. Um, And they're very aware of that. They feel like you know your self-worth. They don't want you to know your self-worth because if you know your self-worth, then they can't run game on you. That's crazy. But it's the it's the truth. They're afraid to reach out. They are afraid to talk to you. And they really regret, they regret lying to you. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later.